tour of duty, what's that been like so far? Has that met expectations, exceeded? And I guess by meet expectations, I guess how difficult has, has it been? Um, it's been it's been good. I mean, it's like like I never worked before. It just it's probably way harder from where I came from, and it's not like I just long long as I long as I work through it, tired, I'm I'm gonna get through it. Equinarius, welcome to Tallahassee. Uh, with um, Coach Woodson moving on uh, after you guys signed, um, what you know did that? How'd you handle that? And then also, what have your conversations been like with Coach um, Sertan? Um, me and Coach Woodson, we had a good, a good communication with each other. I actually appreciate him. Shout out to Coach Woodson for helping me become a, a nose. We've been we've been here and there. I still have contact with him. And we still got like that that close that close bond that we had from the start. I'm sorry, and uh, and just uh, what's it like been getting to know Coach Sertan now since you've been here? Um, I met him I met him once, and he saw me work out once. It's still like it's still getting there. Like I'm trying to build a bond with him also. So. Quindarius, I know a lot of kids from Mississippi kind of dream of playing at Ole Miss or, or State. I mean, for you, was it important to leave the state? What factored kind of into giving you the comfortable factor to be able to come to a place like Florida State? Um, I mean, not all the time. It's about all the time. Not all the time. It's about the school. It's like about the the people that you're around. So, I mean, Florida State got good people that you can fit around and hang around. So I mean, it wasn't a bad choice for me to to make the Florida State a home. What position are they going to have you start at here? And then secondly, can you define your or describe your skill set for us? Things you do well as a player. Um, actually, I use I um I thought I was going to get recruited as a receiver, but I mean, not everything goes at plan. So maybe like boundary corner, or maybe like. Safety, so, something like that. Following up on what Brendan just asked you, you obviously played a bunch of different positions in high school and started at receiver. I know. How much are you looking forward to kind of focusing on one and honing your skills and just getting used to playing just one spot? Um, I'm going to have to get used to it. I mean, like I said, not everything goes as planned. So. I'm at to work at that one position, like like I've been playing in my whole life. All right, we're gonna come to Zoom. Next question will be Jerry Coates from the Osceola. Cordaris, can you tell us a little bit about yourself outside of football? What what kinds of things were you interested in as a kid growing up, and how did you get into the game? Um, ever since I was a kid, my grandma always told me that. When I was like maybe like three, four, I used to always run around the house with a football in my hand, and she she told myself that like she used to tell people that I think that she think that I'm gonna be a, a football player, and I mean ever since then I used to play little league, and then grew up to middle school, used to play football there. It's like it just been football like ever since I was young. And from from now, it's just been football, so no other sport. All she said I had was a football, and just running around the house, doing other things. Uh, when Florida State, uh, you know, obviously had a good season last last season. What was that like watching that, and, and how excited did that make you feel about you know? Oh, it, made me feel, it made me feel excited. I mean, like every game. I, I watch the game every every game. Me, my grandma, and my brother, we'll just sit down and watch the game and we'll be excited. Like the bowl game. My whole family we was just sitting down watching the game, excited. Um and then after the game, I'll text coaches, you know, great game. Can't wait to get here. 
you committed before the success came for Florida State. I mean, how how much better did that make you feel when you did see that success play out over the year? Um, I feel like the success was great. I mean, I feel good about it. I made a I made a promise to Coach Wilson actually, and we was talking, and um, like we was like um that he want me here, and I was like. I promise you that I'm gonna come. And um, I told him I'll go keep that promise. And I kept it. So, I mean, even though he did a little bit, I mean, it's life, so. How excited are you um, to show what you could do on the college level? You know, and, and I mean, you've coming from maybe not the, the biggest area, um, getting to go up against some of the best players in the country and just prove what you can do. I'm myself, so what I feel like I can do, I'm going to put it on the field and make sure the team succeed. All right, we'll come back to Zoom. Uh, Logan Robinson from Old Game Day. What's going on, Quindarius? Uh Who in that room, at least veteran-wise, or leaders, are kind of guiding you through the process of getting used to the college level and going through the tour of duty workouts? Um, I want to say Travis. Um. LT, J Verse, and I'm still getting to know the other teammates. You're from Meridian. A lot of pride there in Mississippi. Uh, you know, Fabian's from Vicksburg. You got Jarian that's from Mississippi as well. Uh, you know, what is it about you guys that you seem to have so much pride about playing and, and, and this sort of quality of football that you guys play in high school that makes you really good college football players? It start, it start from the beginning. I mean, long. I feel like long as you, long as you do what you're supposed to do on and off the field, work, work as hard as you can. I mean, you can, you can succeed in anything that you want to do in life. You're good. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank y'all.